My name is Gideon. You can read my story in the Bible, in Judges 6, but today I thought I would just tell you my story. I lived a very long time ago. I am an Israelite. Our people are followers of the one true God, or at least we are supposed to follow God, but we have not been very obedient. For many years, my people did their own thing. We did evil in the eyes of God. You know, God sees everything. We do, and, and we were pretty bad. I, in, f in fact, our behavior was so bad that God allowed our enemies to destroy us. The bad guys were the Midians. They camped on our land and destroyed our crops and took all our animals. We were scared of the Midians. God sent a prophet, a messenger, to tell us how to change, but we didn't listen. One day, I was hiding in the wine press, cleaning my wheat, when suddenly, I wasn't alone. Hi. There was an angel sitting nearby. This was very unusual. I knew the angel was bringing me a message. The angel was actually the Lord. The angel said, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. I couldn't believe it. He called me a mighty warrior. I didn't feel like a mighty warrior. Remember, I was hiding. I said, if the Lord is with us, why have all these bad things happened to us? Where are all the wonderful things God has done for us? The Lord told me that he was sending me. Huh. Me? To rescue the Israelites from the Midianites. I tried to argue. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. I reminded the Lord, even though he already knows everything, that I wasn't very important and that I was weak. The Lord didn't accept my no. He told me, I will go with you. I tested the Lord. I asked for a sign just to make sure that the Lord wanted me to do this. I told him to stay right here while I went to bring him food. He agreed to wait. I cooked meat, bread, and broth, and I brought these to the Lord. I put the meat and bread on a rock and I poured them, the broth, over top of it. The angel came and touched the rock and the food with the staff. Whoa. And the food burned up. The fire came from the rock and burned up the meat and the bread. And then the angel was gone. Bye-bye. Did you see that? I realized I had just seen an angel of the Lord. I built an altar to the Lord. That night, the Lord told me to take a bull from my father's herd and I was supposed to tear down my father's altar to Baal, a false god, and cut down 
the Asherah pole, which is more idol worship, then I was supposed to build an altar to God and offer God a burnt offering. I took ten helpers and did what the Lord told me to do. I did it at night so the men of the town wouldn't see me do it. When the men of the town discovered their god and idols were destroyed, they were angry. They wanted to kill me. But my father wouldn't let them. He told them that if Baal and Ashura were really gods, they could take care of them themselves. I still wasn't convinced that the Lord wanted me to lead my people to victory. So I did two more tests. I put a piece of wool on the ground and asked God to let the wool be wet and the ground dry in the morning. In the morning, I was able to squeeze water from the wool. Next, I asked God to let the wool be dry and the ground wet with dew, and God did it. Now, I was ready to listen. God helped me find men who were ready to fight against the Midianites. I found 32,000 men to help me. The Lord told me I had too many soldiers. He wanted to prove that he won the battle for me instead of me winning. So he told me to send home the men who were scared. Oh, scared. I sent the scared ones home. Whoop. Can you believe it? 22,000 men went home. Now I was scared. I only had 10,000 men left. God told me that 10,000 men was still too many. God told me to take everybody down to the stream for a drink. Some of the men lay down on the ground and put their faces in the water like dogs. Some of the men scooped water with their hands and lifted it to their mouths. God used this to choose which men would stay and which ones would go home. The men who scooped water in their hands could still watch for the enemy. They were allowed to stay. The others were sent home. In the end, only 300 men stayed to fight. I couldn't imagine how we would win a battle against the huge army of the Midianites with only 300 men, but I had to trust the Lord. The Lord told me to divide my men into three groups with 100 in each group. Each man was supposed to have a trumpet and a jar with a light in it. Just like that. A trumpet and a light doesn't seem like very good fighting tools, but I was obedient. Each man put his light inside the jar to hide it. Then we surrounded the enemy. It was amazing. Following my signal, the men blew their trumpets. And they smashed their jars so that the light would be seen. And then they shouted. The enemy saw and heard the noise. They killed each other. Eventually, there were 120,000 men dead. God won the victory for us. He did it in his power. And that is rescue. Thank you for listening to my story.